I did want to do Avalanche tonight because this is something that Q players run away from. I don't know what that is. <laughs> or don't know what it is. We'll, we'll discuss exactly what Avalanche is. I know when I started learning Go, this was at a Go club in Texas, and I'd be playing these games, and I was like 17, 18 Q maybe. And eventually I'd hit a point where I would just end up in this variation, and someone would go, well, that's Avalanche. And I'd go, huh? <laughs> Uh -huh. And I just nod my head. I go, uh-huh, I, I played Avalanche. And they're like, yeah, you have to, did you know all this Avalanche variation? I'll go, uh-huh, <laughs> that's what I played. I was just very confused about the whole thing, because for the longest time, I would play it, and I wouldn't even know what it was. Like, I didn't know this was Avalanche. And so, I don't know, I had accidentally played it a number of times before I learned, out what, learned what it was. So what is it? What is the Avalanche? Well, it's a Joseki. That's not a stone with a magnet in it. Here's how it starts. It's a corner of Joseki. It always goes like this, 3-4, high approach. And it always looks like this. This is how we get into Avalanche. And there's other Joseki that will transcribe, or transpose, rather, into Avalanche, but it's pretty rare. So what would you guys normally play here, if you're white? 14-3. 14-3. This is the most normal. Yeah. Right? This is, this is not Avalanche. This is just normal. All right, something like this, like this, like this, and then maybe like this or this, mm -hmm. or maybe like this and this, or maybe like this tanuki, or maybe if you're in a really hotly contested area, just here make shape, or here make shape, or here make shape. There's these other fancy variations too. But basically all these things all right, come from this high. There's another move here. There's actually this one. Do you guys know this one? This is also Joseki. No. But we're not going to talk about it. It's also not Avalanche. But this is also a Joseki. Which is kind of neat. Yeah. Uh, that's not what we're looking at. If you're interested in this one, just go look this up online. I'll show you a couple variations. The one we're most interested in today in introducing or reviewing, depending on how what your familiarity is, is this one. This one, and black plays where? 63. This is the avalanche proper. You guys better hurry up. Come learn. Do you know how to get in the avalanche? Do you know how to get into the avalanche? Sadly. You know how to get into it? Sadly. Do you know how to get out of it? Uh, not as well. <laughs> Perfect. That's why we're here. Okay. All right. So here, John. I just want to get us into the avalanche. Black play, black play, black, uh, honeys, or, uh, uh, the, uh, I don't know. There we go. No. Potential? No. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, right. All right. Okay. This is not, this is not just like you. It's a yeah, special, yeah. special case only. Yeah. Because this is, this is a bad result for black. But this is okay. Okay. Why? Oh, sorry. Nope. Normal. This is normal. But avalanche, you play where? Everyone should be doing this on their boards. Get the shape ready. Here, yes. black. Here. Do be practicing these while we're going through them because that will help you remember them. All right, so this is the start of the Avalanche Josekis. And I do want to stress the plurality of it because there are what's called small avalanche variations and there's what's called large avalanche variations. So this is the start. So at this point, uh, oops, white, white plays one more move. So I guess to really start us off with Avalanche, to confirm this is Avalanche, not anything stupid. Crazy. Seven. Seventeen. Yeah, that's honey. And the thing is, with this whole variation, this looks like this should be good for black. And locally, in a very localized sense, it is, right? It's, it's, it's you know, black already has, has sente, has the corner. I mean, it, locally, it is kind of good for black. Um, but because white is looking to get thickness or outside influence, we consider it even, even result. So it, again, it depends. You play this depending on the overall board position. If white is not looking for the outside or the center, especially in the, these areas, you know, we go back, we play normal, we do this, and white takes over this. Right? But when white is looking to build influence here, or power, right? we play out. So we end up with this. 
And so the next move for black, let's see, there's at least uh, four, five, there's at least five main variations from this point. And two of them make the Joseki much more complicated. <laughs> two of them make the Joseki easier. And one of them is somewhere in between. Mm -hmm. But really the two that make the, the, uh, this Joseki more complicated are really the avalanche variations. So I'll ask you guys, do you guys want to do the complicated ones first or the ones where the, they're sort of more like avalanche avoided first? 44. <laughs> Let's do the simple ones first. The simple ones? Yeah, uh, yeah. The yeah. The proper avalanche ones. avoided? Yeah, yeah. All right, well, I want, I want you to look here and, and you tell me where, where would you, let's say you're black in this game, where would you play to sort of be like, oh, something strange is happening, I just want to make it stop? Uh, 18-4? Yeah, that's what I... Here? Yeah. Yeah, this is, this is uh, pretty common from people who don't want to know how to deal with this. However, if you're playing with this in a handicap game, this is still advised, actually. Well, it's a handicap game. It's, it's probably not advised in a handicap game. No. Because you're, there are other issues that a st much stronger player will be able to take advantage of. It's, it's okay. It's Joseki. Okay, it's fine. In the handicap, short answer, it's fine. But in a handicap game, you're probably looking at playing the even simpler one. Okay. Set. Seventeen three. Yeah. Here. Okay. That's a nice move. Oh yeah. This makes a lot of sense. Solid, no possibility of cutting. Yeah, right? I have the corner. <laughs> Nothing terrible is going to happen to me. White still has defects, weak points. Sure. So this is, this is like the most proper way to avoid the avalanche. So the first thing you're learning in attending this lecture on the avalanche is how not to play avalanche. <laughs> okay, it's an important skill. Yes. Let's play there. Here's okay too. Here's okay. But. This is probably a little bit uh, safer, especially if you're, again, often white's gonna play the avalanche when white knows that you know, they wanna cause trouble, i.e. they're better than you, or they're better at reading than you, or they know you succumb to pressure, or you get nervous, or you freak the hell out, right? In those circumstances, probably better is to play here. But that all being said, let's go over this one first, it's even simpler. Question, where does white play now? Uh, 13-4. Oh, here? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. right, I'll say one of these three moves is the correct move. So, let's see. Three of you propose a move. It leaves, uh, you know, you, you guys here in the middle. Which one, to answer the question, which one of these three, three moves is best? Here? Here? Or here? <laughs> hey, I was guessing. Say that one or the this last one. one. Or this one? No. Or this one? Or that one. This one or this one. Do you have a vote? It's, you know, I think the correct one is the 13-4, but I'm not sure. Is this one? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was good, too. Correct move. Yeah. Oh. yeah. <laughs> I got it. That's Mark, you got I, it. That's, that's the one I played. Uh, perfect. <laughs> Well, good. Uh, part of the reason why this is good, <coughs> as opposed to these up, this actually doesn't fix the cut yet. It's true. Right? Yeah. Like, here, it just fixes, I mean, it just, it, it just sets up the ladder, right? Basically, it just fixes. Um, and I'll do this. This is also a potential weak point, too, that Black can take advantage of later. So we play here, and it's also, it's also big because on the next move, white turn, this is actually a very big move. Because now we can start playing Sente moves against the corner, we've sealed black in. It's, re it's very powerful. This would be good too, um, but you're just leaving, I think, too many defects for black to continue getting a good result. All right, so we play here, where does black play? Clear. No, no, knight's move, 13-2. Here? Okay, so that's vote one. 
That seems too slow. This yeah, this is very slow. Too slow. Never mind. I retract that move. Well, wh why did White play the avalanche? Well, because he was thinking that he wanted some influence down the side. Yeah, like this area, right? Yeah. yeah. Which, which is avalanche? which is why I was <laughs> suggesting that other move. This is the avalanche. <laughs> oh, that's the avalanche. Okay. Yep, yep. So when yeah, Mr. Again. I was trying to tell you guys early on, and I failed at telling the story, right? When I, when I was learning how to play Go, I accidentally played this a bunch of times, and people would be like, oh, you played the Avalanche, and I have no idea what they're talking about. But this is the Avalanche. <laughs> okay, this is what we're talking about. Mm -hmm. All right, next move for Black, simple variation. 3-3. Three, three. Simple variation continued. Extend. And here's where we are. Could, and then Black tries to see if he can mess with that. Could Black take, take the shape point at 15, say? This is craziness. <laughs> We're just playing here. Okay. We're just simple variation. Okay. Uh, no. Soon. Soon. Black's gonna play this first. Though. So black plays oh, that, and then so white. Oh yeah, we're gonna play. We're gonna play this one first. Thirteen. Thirteen three is the next move when we're done with this side. So white plays here. Black can crawl again. This is something optional. White usually plays here or here. Both of these are okay, so I'll just put this down there. And I think the rationale for black coming on the side like that is because white wanted it. So white wanted it, so let's reduce it while we're here. Yeah. And yeah. Now we play. And at this point, you you know, this is very, oh, many of these moves are actually tanukiable in this variation. Like these aren't the most, again, it's a peaceful variation. It's not, after this move, everything is basically tanukiable. Um, but white can continue here. The most popular move for black is continue. All right, so this is, this is sort of like the Joseki plus maybe a little bit of follow-up. So what do you think of this variation? Who got what? White's still got a little bit of what he was after in initiating the Taisha or the Nadari, but the black is really comfortable on the side. Yeah, black's very comfortable, right? This is a super solid corner, very little Aji. There's really just this one little poke left. Um, everything else is super solid for black. How many points did black get? Mm. 12? 14? I can't 20. But compared to... It's a little under 20. It's a little under 20. 20? It's, mm. it's somewhere between 15 and 17, let's say. Sort yeah. of depending uh, on end games things, but a little underneath 20. What did white get? Nothing. <laughs> white got nothing? <laughs> got a little bit of a... a little bit of a... Is that potential? A lot of outside, a lot of outside thickness. Yeah, well, white, white has outside influence. And, and you might look and see, hey, even though black got a lot of points, these are actually fairly inefficient points for black, right? These are all yeah. third or even second line points here for black. Right, so they're not the best points for black. Some of them are corner points, you can give black an extra point here. Right, these three, these four points really are pretty efficient. Yeah. Right, everything else is pretty inefficient. Um, in the meantime, right, white got what white initially wanted, right? White played the avalanche to get influence in this area, which is what we have. So we haven't quite sealed off black here yet. It's also, it's also really hard for black. Black can reduce here, but black can never make anything over here either. So if we do get a move later on, you know, this can turn very large very quickly, you know, especially if we already have, maybe we played avalanche because we have some variation like this. Like it can get it can get very big very quickly, especially since if, if black responds over here, we have sentinel. Mm -hmm. So you know, it's it's one of these Josekis that really depend on the rest of the board. Okay, can you could you guys replay the simple variation on your own, or do we need to review it one more time? Yeah, yeah. I think we're so. good. Good. All right, you guys ready for the fun stuff? So, is there another simple? Oh, there's several simple. Oh, okay. That is the simplest of the simple, and perhaps well, the best one that, that you should Another know. that you had in mind. Um, this one's very similar, The Descent. Mm -hmm. Where's the next move for white? Uh, no. Uh, four, descent. Uh, 14. Yeah, Descend again. And this time, the jump actually leaves a little potential for more of a problem. Like, so we actually don't jump in this variation. Or I guess, could, could you jump? I guess if you're willing to go up this stone, but I don't think you should jump. <laughs> but white can extend again, and then we can jump. And then white plays a move 
somewhere often. In this case, uh, white could play here if we just want to protect that. But in this situation, it would very much depends on how you want to build this. In this situation, would eighteen five have been better than the twelve three? Eighteen five coming down the side for black. No, or no, for no, white? no, no. I'm saying instead of the last move was twelve three. That, oh, here would that be better? Um, in this case, white kind of gets something on the top. It, 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 depend, it, depend, it depends. You're giving the choice back to white as to what's important. So it yeah. depends on how big this is versus how big this is. Okay. Good enough. So it depends. I don't know. Uh, but it's possible, yeah. I think actually you probably should have looked at this first before you play here. Or before black plays over here. But again, the idea is the same, right? White is building the middle and is either going to get this side or this side. Okay? Okay. All right, let's look at the next avalanche variation. Let's go to that, like that middle variation. How does this feel? Really scary. <laughs> really what? scary. It's a, it's a move on the second line. That can't be scary. It's only the second line. I had something like that today and it scared me. <laughs> yeah. All right, well, let's show you the variation. And we want to guess first. Cut. Where? On the second line. 18 2. This cut, yes. Nice cut. Black. Connects. Okay, white. Black. Yeah. Black. Ooh, 16 5. Atari. 16 5. <laughs> So we have some people voting for this. We have some people voting for this. No one has found the Joseki move. 17-6. So just This This might be playable, but the problem, the people who want to play this, the problem with this is that if white, well, if white takes, black's going to Atari again. This, so white, white doesn't want to take. White will play here first. Um, is then what do you do as black? Do we just Atari this up? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I guess if you just want points at the top side, sure. Uh, but that's a lot. That's like crazy good. You're giving so much to white. And now white has guaranteed two eyes. This is the white's really strong. There's like no other real defects other than this peep to take advantage of, right? Maybe if, if black had the bottom right corner, you could play that way. Yeah, I mean, I mean there, this is possible. But let, let's, let's just remember this variation, take a mental picture of this variation, and we'll compare it to uh, a different variation. I want black to play here directly. No cut. Now this directly threatens double atari. Mm -hmm. So, what do you think Joseki move is for white? Hmm? No, no, it's white, white, white. Oh, it's white. Sixteen six. Yes. That seems so bad. It is, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, but it's surely the best move to try to fix this and make some sort of shape out of it. It's a white. White shape actually isn't good. No. Like, even though white's capturing a stone, white shape is actually bad. So if we play a move like this, we actually help out white's shape. Like, we still almost get a very similar result, but we're helping white in the process. Just play this directly. And, uh, right, white can't do anything like this because these are all double Atari. Right? Um, we could play here, but then this would just give another forcing move to black. It looks pretty good. So this really is the best move for white, right? We do want to try to expose black so we have time to come back and play this and maybe cut later. So... Move for black. Next move for black is cool. It's a cool move. <laughs> Actually, the next oh. two moves for black are cool. Is it 15-6? Um, yes, sir. Yes. Nice move. <laughs> nice move. It's Very beautiful. Cool. Isn't that nice? All right, what do you think white plays? Um, another... 
crappy shape. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, yeah. <laughs> Sixteen five. Does it connect? No, we no, We actually hunt it. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. Next move for black is also cool. Do the Atari cross? No, Atari's actually bad here. Oh. <laughs> not cross cut. Well then. Uh, yeah, cross cuts. Crazy. Not gonna work well enough. Not. Um. Mm. Okay, well, I don't know the cool move, but I feel like a good shape, like a uh, 14, 6, Here? would be good. Nope. Even 14. It wasn't cool. Oh, it's though. not cool. So, not a cool I, move. I don't know. Even 14, 5. This would have been better than your move, right? Because it threatens a throw. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's throwing. still not the cool move. Um, and not the cross cut. Mm -hmm. Not the cross cut. What about just throwing in right now? Here? Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, 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 no. Oh, then you're just giving him, yeah, that's stupid. Not cool, bro. I didn't read that out. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Okay. Mm. Oh, yeah. That's pretty cool. Mm. Mm. Oh, because white can't cut. Yeah, if white tries to cut. Uh, then you extend. Oh, snap. Got a fix, then you connect. Oh, and it's so good. We get Panuki, we get all sorts of fun. Oh, it's so good. And if white tries this, Man. this is no good for this. Did nothing for white, right? Yeah, yeah. So that would be a disaster. That would be a disaster. So I usually just play something over here. Possibly this. There are other possibilities, but something like this. And we can come back and we can play this move now. And there's still like this is very uncomfortable kind of shape, right? Because black still has his throw in. Black has a nice wall this way. Black has part of the corner, at least. Definitely some of the top. So white's not going to die. White has a solid shape, but, you know, this was cool, right? That seems so good for black, though. But, but white is also threatening to make fifth line territory, and white is further out than black, too. Oh, that's true. And this corner isn't black either, right? Right, there is still this. That's true. But if black had like the and there's left, still this Audrey here. I feel like if black had a like a Shamari in the top left, it would be scarier than sure. whites. But well I don't know, it's still invadable if there's a Shamari here, right? And there's still Audrey here. Yeah, that move at eighteen three. I've seen that before in similar circumstances. Yeah. But that seems so powerful that what priority should black give to being first on that? Um, I don't know. It's a hard, it's, that's, that's a global question, mm. right? That, that's based on the importance of everything else that's going on on the board, as well as the importance of this cut or the Aji available from this cut. It's, that's a very, plus if black can attack this directly or not by taking away this eye. There, that's, that's a whole much bigger set. Well, that's, that cut, that 14-3, is kind of it doesn't work right now. Yeah, it does, it's kind of meaningless as long as you've got the snapback available. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I guess that's true. But at some point, yeah. Well, yeah would, at that point, yeah. you've got to consider Yeah, so in yeah. this variation, yeah, you're right. But if, if, if white makes that move there, yeah. if white... Well, if white uses Sente at that black, point, that's not a good move. It, at that point, if, if black go ahead, goes ahead with 18-3, is the cut not that... Quite well, if, if black takes this, yeah, white tanukis. All right, white will probably come over here. And again, this point depends what else is on the board yeah. and how we want to use this cut. Again, we can't use it directly right now. Yeah. But it is pretty annoying when we play things like this. <clears throat> yeah, especially yeah. if we have any other friends in the neighborhood. It's important not to show JG annoying moves. Oh, is that, is that a thing we're doing now? I'm going to bring some, some blindfolds to class and just JJ put yours on right now. Yeah. Okay, here, let's quickly review this variation now. Because it's so cool. So, avalanche variation, how does it start? Practice it, practice three, it, practice three, it. Three, four, three, four, good. Three, four. Like, Come on yeah. under. And then the poke in. Connect. Come on top. 
this one. And we've got in there the 18. Yeah, this is this one. Two. Yeah. So this, this is the one where black gets a little bit here and a little bit of a wall this way, right? If black wants a little bit of a wall this way and a little bit here, we can play here. Which is strange because it looks like we're playing on the wrong side. And then white extends. Oh no, cross cuts. Atari. Next, next move. Extend. No, no Atari again. Atari. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, duh. Black move. Sequence here. Uh, it's a 14, 4. Good. White move. Protect. Protect like bad shape. <laughs> Black move. Cool move. Um, 15. Bamboo joint. Take it. Avoid bamboo joints. What, what do you call it? Bam this would be a bamboo joint if what yeah, was done be. Yeah, yeah. There's no word for when you away. bust the bamboo joint. <laughs> bamboo buster. <laughs> twig? I don't know. <laughs> Make the twig buster. shape. Okay. Move for white. Uh, Ane. 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 Black. Ane. Ane. Over. White. Extend. Down. Yeah, there's other, again, like, like I said, there's other variations here. What is it? I'm just showing you one. And then black. Could you try uh, on it again? Or no? Is that here? Is that not so? Uh, no. Not not so. Okay. Possible. Again, there's many. <laughs> the avalanche is the avalanche because there are so many variations. <laughs> yeah. And uh, yeah, playable, possible. Perhaps even stronger, actually. But here. I'm trying. When, when in general, I have to fall into a simple <laughs> variation because some of these are, are hard enough. Okay. And black. Um, yes. Take the throw in. Right. Threaten that shape. Threaten. So yeah, pretty nice for black. But uh, there you go. I like it. Okay. New avalanche variation. You guys ready? We're gonna do the real avalanche variation. This is this is like the one. If there is one. Avalanche variation that was like the avalanche variation. It's this one. So and the reason why I'm going to call it the the avalanche variation, other than the fact that it is very common, right? It's also one of the most common ways out of this. I sort of think of it as like an avalanche, where you have like these two layers of snow that are like that are like I don't know, going at different speeds across each other, and they just sort of <laughs> explode everywhere. So if we don't take the first exit, and we don't take the second exit. This is where we get. That's right. Okay, let's see it. All right, start it off for me. Fifteen attach. Good. Uh, you guys should be faster at this by now. Connect. Come on, top. Honey. <laughs> yeah, honey. Okay. All right. And then V, like V, honey. like proto typical. Fourteen. Fourteen. Four. This is this is one where like layers of snow like streaming down the mountain. This is the one I don't like. The this avalanche. Is the one I don't like. <laughs> the avalanche. This, this is when you play this move. This is called officially the small avalanche. <laughs> okay, so this is the small avalanche. The avalanche being all the numerous possibilities that just leaf out from this or branch out. Well, there's also the large avalanche. Well, yeah, yeah. which we get into in a different way. <laughs> Are we covering that? Hmm? Are we covering well, we'll do we'll do we'll do a large at least one large okay. avalanche variation too. Actually, we'll probably show you a few, but the most will mostly be connected to one main line. Okay, we'll cool. show you like the large avalanche variation, and like, and but but that has more variations. This is probably like the prototypical small avalanche. Okay. Okay. Eighteen two. Eighteen two is yes. Eighteen two no, is no, like no 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 bring it down. <laughs> Did you mean 18? I thought it was the last turn, actually. Oh, no, wait, 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 wait. Yeah. Oh, you wanted this. Um, that would be good, actually. That would be 18-4. Yeah. All right, this is, this is when white decides that white doesn't want to do the prototypical avalanche variation. This is how white can get out of it. It's not the avalanche variation. This is one of the other simple variations. So here's the simple, another simple variation very quickly. There it is. Good. We're done. Okay. It's kind of a loss for white. It's kind of good for black. Okay, better move for white. Um, I mean, Where? 14, 4, 5. 14, 5. Oh, uh, bad move. It's not it? Not, not it. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. 17-3. Yes. Yes. Of course. There we go. Okay, now it's on. Black extends. The snow is now going to start running down the mountain. Black has extended. Yes. White. Only one move. 18-3. No. No. 18-3 is actually bad. Oh. There. We'll play 18-3, and then you all cry, and then you all renege and pretend this didn't happen. Where does black go? They'll play on the outside. Sorry. Oh, where, oh, where does black go now? Oh, well, where does white go now? Yeah. But white yeah. should have went there in yeah. the beginning. Extends. No good. No good. And now white has is dead in the corner. Oh yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, we want to play the better moves. Play the outside. No. Seventeen two. Nice move. Oh, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. Must fight. We must use this stone. Because, <laughs> because look, look. Black has three liberties here. Black has three liberties here. We have four liberties. We win. Well, <laughs> no, because black can get out, yeah, right? Yeah. yeah black but, can still, so we have to play this. Black can still right. come down the side, just black. like he did in the last variation. So. Well, but if, yes. So, and in fact, this is like the next one. Yes. But you have to crawl a lot further, and you'd give white a giant wall, right? Okay, I'm gonna show you the variation. Okay, yeah. <laughs> All right. So again, there is there is a variation that goes like this. Okay. I'm not, here here's the normal one. <laughs> okay. Okay, we're gonna protect this way, right? Because we're threatening now to cut here and capture these two. We're threatening to come back here and surround this. Mm -hmm. Okay. Black plays here. What do we do, White? Um, 15 5. Wait. Make a coat? Never mind. Do you just have to connect? Uh, no. 15 6. This? Quite long Uh, looks bad. Yeah. Yeah. This looks real bad. It's a bullet bag. Bamboo joint bed. This also here or here? Looks bad. Yeah. Honey. <laughs> Where? At the 14 five. Here? Mm -hmm. Definitely bad. Go for the cut at 14 3 anyways. You're on fire tonight. Cool. Yeah, must cut. That's what I thought I said. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, never mind. Okay, Black, what do we do? That's a good question. Black. 14 2 would give you some breathing. Now you can try it. Now go go for fifteen. Fine. This is not Kurosaki, but yeah. you can try it. No good. What do we do next? Close that. Uh, fifteen two. Okay, let me know when you want to stop trying. <laughs> um, I mean, the second you told me no, I figured you were right. <laughs> good point. <laughs> it's usually a safe assumption. Yeah, life's gonna die here. So at this point, could you do 16 to 5? And capture? Yeah, sure could. Start that fight. Um, okay, never mind. You're going to have there's to go there. out on 14 5. And then... okay, we're going to back up. We're going to back up. We're going to back up. Yeah. Let us not do. I guess that's there. Let's play from here again. So try, trying to save these stones doesn't work. I don't know. I would play 15-5, probably, instinctively. Here? Yeah. yeah. Um, what do you do now? Ready to ladder it. <laughs> no, yeah, no ladder. No ladder here. 
I'm good, right? No, I'm not good. Okay. So yeah, it doesn't look like Black can play on the outside because he has a shortage of liberties problem on this two stones on the inside. So he has to play somewhere to throw. Playing here. Really? Really, it's Atari, right? Okay, mm -hmm. yeah. Good, we're playing here, so we don't die. Okay. Okay, that would hurt me. We're playing here, double Atari. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> I mean... Yes, I thought. My heart says take a stone? No, you can't no, do that. No, no, no. Really bad idea. What happens? No. What happens? Black turns on the left yeah, side, and now. you're so dead. Yeah. Can't. It's a trap. It's a trap. How did I not do that? So what do we have to do? Instead, right? Extend. Yeah, we have to extend. We're still using these two stones, mind you, by the way. All these Ataris, right, happen because white can't capture here yet. Black has two liberties. All right, black. Extend. No. Uh, taking the Panuki seems nice and pretty. Yes. Yeah, that looks good. Was there... Is white. Do you have some choice here which way you go with Very that? little at oh, this okay. point, at this point. A couple moves ago we had actually a few choices, but yes, at this point no. right here. Uh, why take your punish? <laughs> there, there you go. Avalanche. <laughs> the proper done. small avalanche. We might need to redo that one like once or twice. Oh we're gonna we're gonna replay this a few times right now. You have you have to practice this. Okay. This is where it ends, so to speak. I mean, at this point in this variation. Yeah, and and it seems and better for white. It's it's a pretty fair result, actually. Okay. Well well white ended in Gote. And there's still actually Aji here. And Black has a forcing move at 18-3. Right, this isn't White's corner. Or 18 So, yeah. There is that sort of thing. Um, but, you know, it's, it's, it's basically a fair result. But what's really cool, like, what's, what's the really, like, beautiful thing about this is that, if you go back to the beginning, and white plays here, which side is this stone taking or projecting influence? To the left, oh, all around. Well, let's say mostly this way. Yeah. More this way. And then black says, you know what, that's fine. I want you to have influence that way, right? So white can play over here and build this, right? But then white, for whatever reason, decides, no, I don't want it that way. I want it this way. In which case, black goes over here. We start to ask avalanche. But if we play the whole small avalanche Joseki all the way through, what ends up happening? The beginning. Black. The beginning. It goes back to white projecting influence this way. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right? So again, this is, you might say, hey, this is a really good result for white, but no, it's black who, who end up getting the direction that black wanted. <laughs> right? So for whatever reason, black didn't mind white having influence here to begin with, right? So. So black is basically kicking white around a little bit as far as direction. No, there's, no, there's, there, well, I wouldn't say kicking is, kicking is not an appropriate word here, okay. right? There's nothing forced about this. So there's lots of exit points, lots of <laughs> well, it's, things it's, that can go wrong in the variation, but. White has choices, but black gives them a choice, and do you really want that? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And so, so the whole thing sort of flips back and forth within the blink of an eye, within one Joseki. Like, white's gonna be over here, nope, white's gonna be over here, nope, white's gonna be back over here. It's very cool, like how, how you think the influence is going to end up, and then all of a sudden, how I just like, that's a snow crashing in my mind, right? Like these layers of snow, you know, coming down the mountain and <laughs> just leveling the town. I'm like, oh, all right. Just capture it. All right, here we go. Practice it. Put it on the board. Copy this. Tell me the next move. Uh, 14, 4. Good, next move. And then, uh, 18, cut. Five. Seven, 17, 3. Cut. Cut. Extend. Good. Extend 17, 2. Good. Um, cut. Yeah. Uh, 14, 3. Oh. Yeah. No? No, you went 18, 5. Yeah, good. Oh, Wasn't yeah. Gideon? Yes. I remember that. That was awesome. All right. I get full credit. <laughs> Um, there's other variations here, actually, just so you know. <laughs> there's also a variation where black can play here. There's also one where black can play here. And they're vastly different <laughs> in terms of who gets what. But, again, we're going to call this the main line now. All right, white move. Uh, 16, 5, 6. Very good. Hane. Uh, Atari. 
Yeah. That's hard, yeah. Three. Now white cuts? Black move, very important. Uh, 15 6. Double Atari. I extend. Double take. Take. And take. Beautiful. What a nice variation. Can I just make you happy? George? The inevitability in this, in this, well, in the whole thing, even all the variations, it's, it's amazing. No. <laughs> we make it seem amazing because I'm showing you one variation. Well, no, no, I mean... Uh, I, oh, I, after that point? Well, no, even, even, oh, if you pick another variation, it just goes down a different chain of, of inevitability. <sighs> sort of. <laughs> yes. Some of the other variations have more choices than this one. I mean, if you use yeah. the word variation, it's hard to talk about in inevitability. I know. I know. Yeah, yeah. But it, but it, it is beautiful, right? It's, it sort of like collapses, right? It's sort of like, no. you know, it all just sort of come, fits into place. Um, but I assure you that like it all, it all sort of snapping together, right? That's a product of like hundreds of years of humans playing this game and trying to play, trying to win, <laughs> right? If you weren't trying to win, it wouldn't be inevitable at all. <laughs> so I guess there's that. There's that, yeah. Here, I'll, uh, I'll, 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 actually, you know what, what would be really good? We should have you guys do, let's do this in a different corner, facing a different direction. Uh, what are just doing? Let's go down here. You're already doing it? JJ. Oops. Uh, let's go one more, pick a different corner on your boards. Maybe pick a corner uh, off, away from your side of the board. Maybe do it on your partner's side of the board. If you have a partner. Mm -hmm. All right, here, here, here we're gonna play the game. You have to play the move before I get there in the variation. So you have to be beating me to that move in the variation. You need a white move, Mark. You need a white move, fast, it's coming up. I where I was. Honey. <laughs> no, 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 wrong, honey. Other side. Oh, I believe. Nope. And there you go. Lucky, that was a nanosecond before I played it. I have another half second to find the next move for black. Good. We'll do it first. Oh, that's what I went wrong. Oh, yeah. Black goes here. Yes. Yes, cut. Oh, JJ's falling behind. So. Next move, you gotta get it before I get there. Oh, see where I missed up? Oh, great. Don't get captured. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, it's day ahead, not even, okay, never mind. We're ahead of you. Gotta extend, Mark, you gotta extend. Where's Black, St Black, Black to play, Mark? Um, I think it's, uh, here. Yes, good. And then, and then white to extend. Yes, yeah, nice. Okay. Is this switch going over here? Yeah, it's, it's still. And then, so you, Atari, and then instead of... Move, got a few of you stuck on this point. Oh, you found it. You're ahead of it. Mark's a move behind. Tiger's mm -hmm. mouth? Yes. Uh -oh. You're still not so. so you take black. And then white. Black. Shake yeah. himself. Yes. And then you got, we got a couple people turn. done. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Wait. So then. Yeah. Yeah. Aha, done. Oh, you got it too? We beat ya. Yeah, but where's Kalos? What? <laughs> oh, we're supposed to be doing it like twice? Yeah. Oh, two to... Okay. Yeah. Oh. It's not fair if you get two people doing the same, Joseki. Jo yeah. All these other people have to do it by themselves. Next move from here. Oh, we'll turn. Oh, you gotta turn. Turn. Black turns. On your left. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, that's, that's a variation of something we covered, though. Turns to the outside field. Oh, that's right. Yeah. That's right. Then tiger's mouth, tiger's mouth, tiger's mouth, tiger's mouth. Yes. And then Atari. Play this one. The same one we did over here. Take my Atari here. Double Atari. Extend. 
Okay. So in the end, it should look like this. Make sure yours looks like this. Yeah, take one. Done. Yeah, what did you think about it? Take the stone. Think about it. But. Oh, I see. No, it's not. No, it's right. It's like. Yeah, that's right. And white takes. Yeah. Black, black screen. Black screen. Right here. Okay. <laughs> yeah. That's why I'm confused. Uh, it's my move, but I had a white stone in my hand. Okay. Do you guys have it too? Or are you guys stuck? Double Atari. Double Atari. Well, we've already played it that once. So. No. Oh, gosh. Oh. Oh, punish. Yeah. Can't take that stone. Snap back. Run, All right. Run. Oh, yeah. You so say you. Avalanche is really, really hard. Like this is this is you know in your top five hardest go seconds. You know, you got like a Taisha, your magic sword. Well, Nick, I did Avalanche. study this once, but I studied it on the other side of the board. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. I'll show you one other variation that I don't see that often, but is a possibility um, for the small avalanche and again. You want you can copy it right here and it starts out the same way. I have to remember this first. I haven't, I haven't seen this, I haven't thought about this one in a while. You should have uh, put these up more before I started teaching today's class. But when black turns here, white cuts here, black Atari is this way. Oh, so black turns in. Black turns in and takes this Atari over here Ooh. and it comes back to play this way. Wait, what's Netflix. White's response to the oh. turn in? What's his red response to 18 to? After, after this oh, so. cuts. Yeah. And then Black takes a funky looking triangle thing. Maybe oh, triangle. Oh. Well, what doesn't work? Well, well uh, lean. Oh. Atari at 16 1. Okay. No problem. It doesn't work. Oh, well, you can't just drop down. That doesn't work. Black, white has two liberties, black has three. Right. So oh, if well, black I just wants the corner, you sense. can play a variation like this. It's okay. And then I do this. All right, I want to do at least one large avalanche variation today. <laughs> Wait, so white just loses that? Yeah, white, 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 white will take a huge outside. I'm not actually sure what the proper move is to take the outside here. But this is also sente. Um, this is sente. Like, there's a bunch of sente moves here. Actually, this is actually this is sente. Probably this one. Right? Oh, that's not sente. Sorry. Um, I don't know. Maybe that one. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what the the correct outside fix it move is, but white will have sente and sente moves around the outside. So in black it's a medium small corner, it's not a huge corner. But it's a, it's a variation. Okay, large avalanche. Oh dear. And again, I haven't looked at this one in a while either, so I'm probably going to screw this one up. <laughs> I know the small avalanche much better. But first we have to get into the large avalanche. And I would say between the two avalanche variations, I think most people are more scared of the large avalanche because there's just more variations. So if you're going to be scared of the avalanche, be scared of this one. Okay. That's the moral of the story. <laughs> you're not scared of the last one. And then it starts out the same way. And then uh, this is where we do something different. Ready to do something different? 14-3. Oh, yeah. large avalanche. Now, white can get out of the large avalanche. White does not have to play the large avalanche variations, at least the complex ones. White can say, nope, 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 done. Enough, I changed my mind. Don't want to do it. Okay, so white still has this option to do this, okay? And be okay. It's not great shape for white, you know, it's not the most effective influence in the world, but it works. It's, it's, it's dirty, but it works. It's done. No. Well, <laughs> it's not. It's not done. There's black can attack here later. <laughs> and black has moves like here, and here, and here. Take a shape. And black already has extended further out than we have, so 
it's harder. It's a little bit more difficult for us to run. So white behind, as far as the top goes, and not entirely secure. Yeah, not, not the best, most solid shape. But it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It works. Is white just extending it? If if he was to play out. Yeah. Let's do the large avalanche accepted. Challenge accepted. Accepted. Yeah. accepted. Yep. And then you challenge accepted. Take it in the high. And then do you remember? Uh, this shape for small avalanche? Mm -hmm. Well, this is what makes it the large avalanche. What's three. the difference? Two and one three. more. Why oh, has one more stone here? And it changes everything. Almost all of your knowledge that you've learned so far with a small avalanche does not, no longer applies. <laughs> it's a pretty, it, it actually changes like all the liberty counts. So everything is different. Although actually, actually the first, the first two moves are white or not. The two first moves are basically the same. What are they? Cuts. Good. Black. Stand. White. Stand. Yeah, only move. Only move. So this, I guess this, it, the avalanches very much resemble themselves at this point. Okay, black. Uh, not cut. <laughs> this, yes. this, this cut actually is a variation on the large avalanche. I like that one. <laughs> I don't know it very well, but this is actually a legitimate variation. You can go look it up online and ask someone smarter than me. Okay, what about just taking the shape point? 15. Yeah, one. Oh, is that gosh. a thing? I don't know. Yeah. I don't think that one. <laughs> well, actually, I don't know. I don't know if this is even a move. I don't, I've never seen it. Okay, okay. <laughs> it's not one. <laughs> I've never seen this. Could we do 14, 5? Uh, I don't know this one. I don't, maybe, maybe. Here, here, I'm going to tell you, right? My knowledge for the number of variations here, it gets very spotty. And you might be asking me something that is like an obscure variation that actually is fairly balanced that I just don't know about. The possibility of that is very, very high. Um, even in, a couple weeks ago, we looked at the, the newest AGA Pro, like the championship game from that. Um, um, was it Ryan Lee? Mm -hmm. Was that the game we looked at? You guys don't remember? Yeah. Was he, is he the pro? I can't remember. Yes, he is. That's, yeah, yeah. We looked at one of his games. And they played a large avalanche at Shoseki. I'm not sure if you remember that game. Go not, if you're not, I think you can go back and look it up on YouTube and, and go over it again. Um, but they played a large avalanche at Joseki that I had never seen before. And I can't find any dictionary. Mm. And I don't, I think, I think it was, I think, um, I forgot who it was. Who's his opponent? I know, I know, like I know him. I know his opponent too, and I can't remember his name right now. It wasn't Matt. No. All right. Um, anyway. But, but they play, I, th I, th I think one player played a small mistake and that changed everything again, right? And it's like, whoa, this is not something I know about <laughs> at all. Well, so, was this variant something they knew or is this they were faking it as they went? <laughs> well, there's no faking, right? It's like, <laughs> play the best movie you can. That's Excuse all you're trying to do. Figure it out as they go. <laughs> so, so all I'm saying is that at this point, right, there's, there's actually a lot of variations here. And I don't know most of them. Like I know, I, like I know a variation that goes like this. I don't know how it plays out. Like I, I can't tell you like the next two moves even of what happens next year. But I, I've, I, I've seen this somewhere. So look it up, see if you can find it, and come back and you guys can teach me something. But um, here, as far as variations, we're looking for for black. Um, there's really, there's I think there's, I think there's four. But I think there's here, here, and here, and there's a fourth that I think is here. But again, I, I, never, I, I don't know if I'm playing this one directly. Usually we play one of these first, one of these three. And these are all different, and I don't know their differences. So let's just play one, <laughs> see what happens. All right, at this point, my cuts here. It seems so similar. So, you were saying it's going to be so similar. I know. You're like, it's so different. The result is different. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All, right. All, the I, I, all right. All right, all right, all right. All right, so yeah, I guess the individual moves look very, very similar. <laughs> but rest assured, they are not. OK. I believe you. All right. Well, well, well in, in small avalanche, what would you expect to happen to these two stones in that main variation? You expect them to die. Toast. Guess what happens in the oh, large avalanche? 12 3, right now. Hmm? They, they totally don't die. Yeah, they totally yeah, live. Yeah, they totally live. So, this is what I mean when it's so different, right? That one liberty changes everything. Like, even though the moves look similar, you get a very different result. 
Because you can can't you play twelve three? And then we, we will play twelve three. In fact, the ex That's, that looks pretty Joseki like. Extended. And again, there are other variations where we can do something over here. For I don't I just go look it up. Come I'll, 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 I'll show you something that kind of resembles a variation, and we'll get the rest of you later. Uh, actually, is it? Uh, or How could it be anything else? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> No, there. Uh, I might have already messed up. There is a move. I feel like white is supposed to respond somewhere down here. Hold, hold on, hold on. Let's, let's. Wait, what? Just Wikipedia. Yeah. Let's Wikipedia. Go to Wikipedia. <laughs> no, no. just Wikipedia. Oh, just Wikipedia. Is that a thing? It's totally yes. a thing. Oh, I played. Okay, so I played that one, right? Oh no, I played. I played. I played. I played. I, I, I was playing the. I was playing the variation. For when black does this. Yes. There, I, sh I should do this with my iPad open because I'm going to screw it up. Otherwise. So I'm probably going to cheat here. There, so we will play this one first. Very good. So black goes up, then. And so when, when black Atari is here, actually, why should it turn here first? <laughs> okay. To gain this liberty. Because this liberty is going to create a lot more Aji for black on the outside. So here's the order. Let's go back. Right, white Atari extend, white extend. Oops. Black goes here. Now white cuts. Now black Ataris. And this is the moment at which white should take this liberty because this is good timing. And black needs the liberty. And now we can come back and play this. All right, here's a good go question. Where's the next move for black? 15-1. Nope. You want to try it, though? It's fun. <laughs> no. That's a different variation. It's kind of fun. Or no, no. 16-2 uh, or 14-2. Well, there's a pretty big difference between those two. Yeah, oh, there is, go, but right. I can't remember. If you do this, where does white play? 16-1. Um, yeah, anything over here, right? Yeah. There's two liberties of three. So can't play that one. Yeah. Well, 14 2 is not entirely with the 14 yeah. 2 actually works, though. Why yeah. does 14 2 work where 16 2 doesn't? Because there's only two doubles. Yes, exactly. Because they're threatening to capture this. Yeah. Okay, black. I don't want to just close those two. Right. 12 4. 12, 4 here? Yeah. Mm. Oh, yeah. Uh-oh. I take it back. Okay. I have some of my suggestions. Okay. Large avalanche has many problems, has many places to go wrong. How about 16-2 now? Yeah, how about 16-2 now? And this is just a weird shape, but there's a bunch of variations in the large avalanche that end up with this shape. This is actually a surprisingly strong shape in this formation. It looks stupid. It's the double empty triangle. <laughs> but it's actually really hard for white to approach this from either side because there's not enough liberties. And so it's sort of like we're making like half an eye so white can't actually atari us or take away liberties. It's a really stupid looking shape, but it works. So it's not so much that it has more liberties than it had before as it's, they're bent. And it would be hard for white to attack. Sure. More or less. Sure. Well, it's, it's four to let me, three. Let me double check and make sure I'm screening up yet. <laughs> I did not. Huzzah, huzzah, good for me. Yeah. All right, at this point, actually, white has a choice. White actually has a pretty strong choice. So. Sadly, this doesn't really work. So. Would it either be 16-5 to protect the cut there? Well, or 16-6 six. Six to protect that cut, or to do the double Atari on the- The double Atari is actually bad in this case. Okay. Do you see what? Uh, because black would just do play 13-4, or five. Yeah, we extend and here. Then your wall would suck. And then, yeah, we have this problem here. Yeah, okay. So, so, okay, so either just Atari that or then... Yeah, 
Here or here? Two choices. Okay. And I just put pressure again. Right now, this this group, it, it can sort, it can, it can, it can't gain liberties against this, but it can actually gain liberties against this. Right. So right now it's four to three. I can actually kind of go four to four, and this liberty is a shared liberty, so it's more like three and a half to three and a half. I don't know. It's something weird. But um, right. But this this is very threatening against this this group, right? Mm -hmm. Because this is a liberty that black can take away. So uh, white has to choose which side is more important. And uh, here, if we play this one, I will consult the dictionary just to make sure. Black connects. And white plays here actually is good Aji. For this, this actually leaves uh, the potential for some sort of collator. It's like a huge multi-step co that takes many steps to finish. For all intents and purposes, white is dead. But this is actually a good exchange for Aji later to potentially form a multi-step co. Uh, and the white comes over here. And uh, there's, again, black has a, a choice now. So white had the choice before. Now black has the choice between here and here. Ooh. Didn't. Presumably Dang. white will go the other way. Well, what do you want, black? <laughs> In the end, do you want this or do you want this? Depends on the rest of the board. Oh, it depends, depends. Yeah, I mean, it totally depends, right? So, you have to play here. Mike will play here. And if we play here, is there any good follow up here? Let me just double check, there's not some sort of follow up I'm not aware of. Play there. Uh, they do have a continuation that runs this out, but not that interesting. I mean, it's interesting, but not. not Useful. It, do, it does eventually show you that white can start this really crazy co later here. It takes several steps to capture, but and there is still Aji here. Um, but yeah, so <clears throat> again, I don't know my large avalanche very well. I do not play it very often, as you can see why. It's not a just that either. These are my normal playbook. Should we try to replicate this? Yes. I'll give it a good. Yes. So let's try. All right, get off the boards. Here we go. Last thing. Last thing for the lecture. Uh, oops, I missed one. Uh oh. All right, so everyone, make your avalanche formation. Define this as the large avalanche. How do we get Greater into the room? Three stones in a row. Oh, 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 it's flex. It's yeah, need one more. There you yeah, go. Yeah, okay. Then and how do we White accept follows. the gambit here? Wait, follow Yeah, follow And then? Honey. Honey. Yeah. 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 Goes for the jugular. Okay, we're going to accept. Like, wait. Okay. Good. Extend. This is similar to what we've done, at least in terms of technology. 72. Comes up. Very good. So, black right here. 18 to 3. 18 to 3. We did it this way this time. This Joseki is different. Yeah. This one's pretty good enough. Like, that was here. We did this one. Okay, next move. 18 to 2. Uh, 18 Not yet. Cut first. Are we done? I'm done. I'm done. Come here. Proper order. Wait. Black needs liberties. Comes down. Oh. <coughs> White needs liberties over here. Black moves, so black doesn't die. Fourteen. Two. Very good. White moves, so white doesn't die. Uh, stands, uh, yeah, yeah. 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 there. Black move, so black doesn't die. Stupid looking move. <laughs> Oops, the first time I saw this in a game, like when I was a Q player, I thought this was like a mistake or something. Yeah. I was like, 
Who messed up? <laughs> it's actually a strong shape. It was like double empty triangle. That's stupid. The empty box. <laughs> and then white can either just extend. Right. Oh, well, the, oh you're oh, point out one other thing. To me, this also it doesn't gain any liberties, right? Like, how many liberties do you have right now? Three. Three. How many do you have now? Well, actually, that's the point. It does gain liberties. It, do, it does, but I mean, if, if I'm a Q player and I'm stupid, I don't. I'm like <laughs> <laughs> inexperienced. <laughs> I just learned about it uh, uh, a month ago. See? Yeah. See. What? All right. Next move. Uh, uh, so White oh. could either play choice, right? Yeah. What? Yeah. There's a choice. There's a choice Eleven. between two or seventeen, six, and oh, what's played? Yeah. Okay. Which the board? So here, I think this is only played out, right? Mm -hmm. I think so. Fifteen one. Oh, oh, actually, actually, before we make the choice, I think there's a. Oh yeah, yeah, exchange. yeah. Which was good, Aji, for that co leader. And then. And then Yep. And make the choice. So black can make a move at night cream. No, that's too soon. Level two again. White choice over here. Oh yeah, so you have to yeah. So black plays over here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Could or actually oh. really? Yeah. This feels wrong. It does. Kind of do it. He'll say. Black goes well, down one more. Because it was, I thought it was it a Black's choice last time? Oh, I guess it is Black. It is Black's choice, right? It's Black's choice right black now. Black can do 19 so to this or, this. or that. Yeah. Right. yeah. Okay. Now it's White's choice. Now it's White's choice. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So now White can either attack that or save the top side. That's right. Crazy. So, and so then now White seals. Yeah. Oh wait. Um, I mean, well, Black well, takes the corner. No, my bad. I was gonna be. I got things confused. Oh, dude, I there's so many choices. Yeah. <laughs> so many choices. So that's, that's what you get for well, what would, what would be better, like, if white took 11 3? I mean, you could play either 19 2 or you could play 18 5. Six. Oh, I guess oh, white, white should play this first, right? Yeah. If, if black connects here, I think white should play this one first. I think that's the best. Is that what we played? Maybe, yeah. Maybe. I think so. That okay. looks the same. Okay. Yeah. I'll go with it. <laughs> cool. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I need to know some better. Do we have time for a game? Yeah, we could play we could play some games. As long as if you got in each of your games you guys have to play at least one avalanche <laughs> variation. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta go. You gotta go. <laughs> oh, I see how you do. I do, I do, but he, 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 Okay, so. Oh, go ahead. Yeah. Do, do you, have you, I, did, I found that this, I, I had never played or, or studied this at all, but I found this in a game uh, with those singing. It was the game where he first. Oh, first did the first the the avalanche? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I was more, he invented that movie in like the 1920s. Yeah. 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 That was his invention. Invented it. Discovered it. It was uh, like the 183? Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, I was supposed well, to say it's invention. Yeah, I mean, like, so. Well, it, 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 it helps when you're a famous Go player, too, because then when you do something new, like, you invent it. Yes. You, do, you do something new on your, in your game, you get called names, right? You're like, <laughs> kind, of, kind of a dumbass, you know? <laughs> he doesn't know the Joseki. <laughs> but Joseki does it, he invents things. Yeah. He knew what he was doing. We just got lucky. See, yeah, yeah, so very he has a follow-up. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Um, there's, there's one YouTube comment I answered this week that, that, that said, hey, what are the chances that I'll get to invent a new Joseki someday? And I had to, I had to, I had to break it to him. No. <laughs> 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 you won't. You won't. Yeah, I think nobody, but, even, even, but even, even if you do, like, you're not going to be the one who's recognized for it, right? right? Well, the nature so, of, of a Joseki is you have a sequence well, and, for... And it's the best person. moves for each player, yeah, too, yeah. right? So just because you do something, you have to have another per person who's going to find then the best response as well, so... But the thing is, is yeah. that it's not just that you have a certain sequence, but that that's responses 
or that's how you respond to what your opponent is doing. So it's not just there's one sequence. It's like, well, if he does this, I do that. If he does that, I do this. So you have to have very yeah. So you have to understand what the variations yes. go to. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, there's a lot more understanding that goes on than just playing a random move and being like, no one has ever played this before! Huzzah! It's so great! <laughs> um, here, what, what, and what, one, so another piece of news I want to tell you guys, but especially the people at YouTube, on YouTube, um, I did just register for the U.S. Go Congress, so I will be there. I also got invited to participate in the Teacher's Workshop seminar, which I did a couple years ago, and we had a lot of fun with that. Woo. So I'm not sure if any of you guys are considering going to the U.S. Go Congress. Is it in Minnesota? In, you guys, it is in Minnesota, it's in at St. Paul. With... When is it? I think first it's the first week, week of August. August. Yeah, it's yeah. usually, I didn't even look at the dates, but it's, first, it's, usually, it's almost always the first week of August. There was only like one time in the last five years that it was anything different than that. Um, but if you're never been to the US Go Congress, you should absolutely go because this is like, you wake up, you play like, a, like the most serious Go game you've ever played in your life. Then you go get some food, and then you go find a professional Go player, and you show them your game, like the most serious game you've ever played in your life, and they tell you why it was all crap. <laughs> and then, after you feel bad about yourself, you're in the right mental state <laughs> to, to, go, go, to go to a lecture, <laughs> or go to a simul with a pro, a, a, you know, just go play against a pro that will then just beat on you even more. And then at which point then you can go to like a lecture, and you can go get dinner, and then sometimes we play ultimate and soccer and where do the, hang out. Where does the drinking come in? Oh, the, drink, the drinking happens <laughs> pretty, pretty much any day after 2 o'clock. Okay. Well, I've, I've seen it start at 6.30 in the morning, but I mean... Oh, boy. <laughs> I, I haven't seen that, but... No, I think that's when... I've seen it end at 6.30 in the morning. <laughs> yeah, I've seen it end. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, you know, I'm not, I, I, and I've told the George story before, <laughs> two years ago. George has this story because this is this, this is a great story because it shows you how nice of a guy George is, and also <laughs> kind of how much of a dick he is too. <laughs> <laughs> well, we know that. Let's see how nice. Because two is. two years ago, right, I was undefeated to the final day of the tournament, <laughs> and we all go out to the bar in the afternoon, early evening, and we order way too many pitchers of beer. Because <laughs> we, 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 we thought we ordered enough for, for all the people at the table, right? But it turns out like half of them didn't want to drink. So then we had that the last night before the final in the Go Congress. So George comes. Trap. <laughs> and he comes and like, oh, you guys got beer. That's great. He has one glass of beer. You have one or two. You remember this night? I think two. You think you had two? I think I had two. I don't know about that. They were, <laughs> they were big glasses. And then George is such a nice guy. He sees that we have all this beer. Comes the waitress, hey, let's have one more picture of that. And we're like, okay, <laughs> all right. <laughs> and then he goes, thanks, guys, I'm out of here. <laughs> it leaves us with, a, and at this point, the crowd had thinned at this point, too, right? So there's like four of us left at this table. <laughs> there's like three pictures. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, I go lose the final game. And I blame George. I absolutely blame George. <laughs> I, I am truly sorry about that. <laughs> but in my defense, it was my turn to buy. <laughs> it, it was. It was. I will give you that. It was. So no, I don't. I don't. I, I just like telling the story, George. I, I like the story. I think I, I enjoy. I enjoy being part of the next. I, 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 like, I like being able to blame my loss on you yeah. personally. That's the thing I, I like most about it. <laughs> so, Four double-digit Q players. It's all his fault. It is. Dude, it's, that's why you have Q players go to the Congress. So you well, can blame them when you screw up something. <laughs> they no, he's up right. The he's right. You, you've got to go to these, these Congresses. These Congresses are the most, the most, ex, one of the most exciting things I do uh, every year. I mean, maybe that says more. I I do ski. I ski double diamond runs. So I, I do other things for excitement. But I, I really truly enjoy. <laughs> The Congress, unbelievable. How many, how many times have you been? I, I've been to all but three. So 24? 28. Oh, 28. We're yeah. in the 30s now. Yeah. So you're not, so really, a pro. You're not really a gold player to at a Congress or 200 year bill. You know, you know I, I, would, I, would, I wouldn't say player. that. I wouldn't say that. <laughs> but but you, haven't, you haven't experienced like <laughs> go in the United States until you've gone to a Congress. Oh, okay. you know, I, will, I, will, I will give you that because you know, bay, bay, you know, we have a couple of big tournaments, and there are more and more. Like we have the Kotzen, and you know, like there's New York Open, New Jersey Open, and we have we have some pretty big tournaments. But this 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 is like the Go event in the United States. Where if you were in Korea, Japan, China, where they have like Go events, you know, they're often they're much smaller actually, um, but they have Go events all the time. 
and we also we often have a lot of um, international players come to the U.S. Go Congress. Like you know, people from Korea and Japan and China will come to the U.S. Go Congress because they don't have anything like this there. That's right. Which is which which was I only learned this like three or four years ago. Like I, I you know I, I had this this one Japanese sort of friend acquaintance who comes every year and and you know he he, he plays in the Ford Opera and we almost end up always playing and you know he's. He's like, well, you know, why, why don't you go play Go Japan? <laughs> They're here every year. He's like, no, no, we don't have this, right? This is, this is something else altogether different. So this is my little part of my commercial advertisement. Come to the US Go Congress if you can. Um, you know, this year, you know, it's being run. One of my friends is one of the people who are running it. Um, you know, it, I'm sure it'll be a great Congress. It's, it's basically like, let's just go hang out with a bunch of cool people and, you know, play lots of Go and maybe you know, have a good time. It's it's like there is there can be a lot of drinking if you want there to be a lot of drinking, but, but you it's more just hanging game. out and, and exactly. you know playing games and you know it's it's very much like a social go structured experience. I don't know. That's probably I have to come up with a better tagline. <laughs> <laughs> I have friends. I have friends that I see there every year. That uh, and I I now see him on KGS and talk to him every once in a while. But it's it's I have friends that I've had since uh, the first go Congress I went. Yeah, and the, the amazing thing is, if you have no friends, right, like no go friends, you're not going with anyone, you don't know anyone, if you go there and you just sort of just, you know, have an open mind and, and, and be friendly, like everyone will be your friend, right? You'll have a whole bunch of new friends. It's true. Like, like I go there kind of trying not to make new friends every year because I'm like, all right, I already have too many people I need to go say hi to and like catch up with. It never works. It's like, oh man, I just made another twenty friends. Now you have fans. <laughs> That's another story too. Yeah. So, if you, but if, you, if if so, this is the, if you're on YouTube, you've only seen me on YouTube. You know, you can come find me at the Go Congress and be like, hi, I'm your friend now. And I'll be like, ah, damn it. <laughs> oh, hi, nice to meet you. <laughs> I really want to scream, oh, damn it, but. but no, absolutely no. Like, 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 in, like, you know, not that I'm a, a celebrity by any stretch of the imagination, but. You have real go professionals. You can just walk up to them and be like, "Hi, who are you? <laughs> Let's play a game." The professional will be like, yeah, "Okay." Boom. <laughs> <laughs> it's, like it's, it's so much more lucky than you think it is. It's not. Yeah, there's there's no there's no like hands off celebrity red carpet status. You know, it's it's surprisingly egalitarian. So anyway, that's it. That was the end of my commercial. The end. Yay! Yay! I second everything.